welcome back to what should hopefully be the finale of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. In the last episode, we finished off Frostbite Island, or more importantly, the Den of Evil that was there, which really didn't actually take that long, especially the boss, that was very quick. So, we are now here, as you can see, I now have all of the Cackle Bats done, all the dark magic has been collected, all 20 of them, so now we are going to head on to the Lonely Grave and see where the story takes us. Ho ho ho, ha ha, ha ha ha. Ha. Yeah, I, j I can't be asked to do this. Are you ready for this? Apparently, something weird happens if you do this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's that's the, that's it. Apparently she slides on the screen just like, yeah. Con oh, this controller is just the work. Okay, I keep saying this thing control. It's not the controller. It's the wire that goes into it because it's a wireless controller. And it's just annoying. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, good. That looks gorgeous. That That's a face only a mother could love. Jeez. And a body as such. That's 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 not nice. Oh, look at that guy. He's just... Really, he's not human. Dare you betray me. Okay, let's just... Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah come on. Yeah, let's just get this... Come on. Oh. Wow. Risky just got destroyed. Kind of. Oh, well, well that's awkward, isn't it? Oh. oh, look, his face is there. Oh, he grew his face back, apparently. Oh, yeah, Risky told us to collect all the dark magic before encountering this person, just in case something does happen. And, you know, we've already done that, so we don't have to go do that. So that, that was that. That was that island. That's literally all that's there. So, now, now we get to be an actual pirate. She's talking to herself. A bit sad. And look, there's no one here. It's all lonely and... Oh, oh no, look at Scuttletown. It's all dark and gloomy. And this area now has like some of my favourite music in the game. It is really good. And actually, while I was getting all the Cackle Bats, I did obtain nine squids. Or, like, I gained that many. So I can now get two more hearts, which is nice. Ah, oh, poor squids. They have to just die. Oh, gorgeous. Well, there we go. So, we can do it again. Let's go and grab that last one. Won't really need them, because I've, I've got a, a way of actually... I've beaten the final boss without taking damage. Just, you know, just bragging rights and whatever. I think I've, like, almost got every achievement. I still need to get two, uh, three more achievements. Two of them being speedrunning ones, and one of the other one being collect all the heart squids, but don't actually use them, so I'll probably end up doing that one on my spare time. The other two I will tell in a little bit. Now, I need a specific item. Some auto potions would be good. I don't know what I have. I've got loads of super monster milk and bubbles and all that stuff, so I don't really need any of that. However... Pirate Flare Auto Potion. I don't know if it's an, I don't know if it's an auto potion or a regular potion. So what I'm gonna do is just get a regular potion. Or three of them, sorry. And I'm also going to get an auto potion. I don't think it's an auto potion, I think it's food. I think it's food, so I do need to take a wee bit of damage. However, let us head on to the final dungeon and everything's changed this is a great bit of music i love this theme there we go you could just absolutely destroy this area like you whoa what the hell happened there apparently that happened so i'm not 100 percent sure what happened there yeah but here we can just run through just destroy everything very simple but this place has all been taken over by the pirate master so it's all dark and gloomy pirate master's palace there we go so let's just go in here oh i didn't take oh i did i did take damage perfect right so 
What I'm go- Right, okay, let's- mm, Okay, right. There should be a little save dude. Oh, there should be a save dude! Ah. Oh. I need to go to a save dude because this I could screw up. I could screw myself over if I do this wrong. So I need to go find a little save dude. Going all the way back here. I should. Oh, I can also take some damage on the way back as well. So that's also good. Right. Save. Perfect. So if I do end up messing this up. I won't have to start from the beginning of the episode. Damage me! Damage me some more. There we go. Cool. Right. Now I'm good. So now, I need to remember, don't, don't sprint through the place because I'll get hearts and I don't want hearts. Now the reason I don't want hearts is because there is a little... There's a bug or a glitch. It's not a, it's not a bug as such. It's a glitch. Now, I do not know how to properly execute this, so... Um, I think it's food, so I'm going to use a flesh pop. So I'm going to have it on there. I'm going to go off screen. Damn it, I almost, almost got that to work. I, al I think I almost got that. Right. I did it! I did it! Look! I'm flying! Look at this! Right, but I need to actually be really careful here. I need to make sure I hit the load zone. Uh, I can't see my mics. No, I missed it! God damn it! Right, I'm gonna have to start again now. <laughs> damn it! Right, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, alright. Uh, fields. I'm in the fields. You can see my save data now. Okay, so we're going to try that again because we almost hit it. We almost got it. But for some... I'm pretty sure you could use the... Uh, what's it called? The... I forget what it's called. The... This. While you're in that... While you're doing that. I've seen it done before, so I'm not 100% sure why it didn't show. But oh well. It's just fun. And I want to do that because I don't want to do this dungeon because it's a royal pain in the arse. Sorry for my language, but it is. And it's long as well. So, we're going to try that again. And effectively, all you're doing... I'm going to... Right. Here we go. Apparently that doesn't do anything. Right, so I'm going to go here and hopefully... That will get me in it, hopefully. Yes, I did it! I did it! And now we're at the end of the dungeon. Booyah! Oh, that feels very good. Let's get that. Yeah, let's get that heart. Actually, there's hearts out here anyway. So yeah, now we're at the final boss. So I just completely skipped the dungeon because of that. And effectively, what I did is I went through the loading zone off screen. And then I ate some food. I get a fresh pop. And I ended up... I don't know, glit stopping the going into the next thing, so everything unloaded, I jumped, and then I went sailing into the air. All collision was off, but the but the load zone stayed there. So, yeah, so now we're just talking this way. If you do it with a potion or an auto potion, you end up going down, which is also useful, so I, don't, I, I can't remember why, but that's a massive time skip. So now we can actually do the boss. So, you're gonna... You're gonna see. Ooh, which one was your mother? Ah, oh, this bit. Ah, oh. I don't know. I never knew her. Oh, that's a shame. Spoiler. Actually, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. So this is the pirate master. Dogs, shut up. Anyway, wrong button. I'm pretty sure the mic can pick up the dogs. It's really annoying. Anyway, let's get the bubble shield, the super pike ball, and that. So yeah. This is, this is the boss. This, this, this is it. And it's very simple. He throws a few projectiles at you at some point. Yeah, see, the, it's, it's not very good, though. Not very good at all. I don't know if I can one-cycle him. I probably won't, but... Yeah. Actually, I could one-cycle him. I don't know. It all depends. 
Eh. And then he's pretty much three hits from now. So there. That's... Effectively, if you didn't get all the dark magic, that's where the fight ends. That's the final boss. That's it. And effectively, this guy, he's like... Nothing without weapons. I think I'll take them back. So he doesn't do that if you don't have the dark magic. He just says, eh, I'll let you keep them. And then he, and then he goes away. And Risky then goes to... Risky takes all the items and goes to stop himself, and that's where it ends, and apparently, I don't know, apparently Risky dies or something, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the non-canon ending, look, he's got a cannon on his, on his back. Oh, he becomes a big giant guy now. So this is the actual final boss, and it is pretty menacing, I must say, it is quite good, but there is a good few tactics to actually do this, so, uh, I'm gonna show you th uh, a couple of them. It's quite simple. Just to uh, do 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 do. A very good theme. I do. I think I've mentioned in the mentioned before that the music in this game is absolutely brilliant. It just it just is. Well, so now he gets the put a bubble on. I'll put the other ones on in a sec because I don't want to waste time with them. Just stay in the corner. Actually, I'm gonna activate them. I just activate. There we go. I just wasted a regular pike ball, but oh well. Ugh. Oh, I didn't know damage it. Oh well. Did it? Yeah, I did. No, oh, no, I fell. Oh wow, I'm not doing very good, and I've already taken damage. Oh well. I'm not doing a no damage run, so I can't be bothered to to be mad about that. I can't remember how long it took me to, to complete this with without taking any damage. It didn't take as long as like the, well, as I thought it would because when I first did this, I think I had to use auto potions many times. So it, I probably was thinking it was going to take me hours to try and master this because it does take a while if you're not that good at the climbing section. Because we don't actually have the. Um, we don't have any of Risky's things now, so we can't do the jumping, and we can't really... There we go. There we go. Come on. Ah, there we go. Nah, I didn't get him. That's a shame. Oh well, gonna have to wait another round. Ow. I messed up my own thing there. Well done. I'm just, I'll just have that Risky's just here, just watching. Hello, how are you doing? You alright? Let me do a little wiggle. Oh yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a bubble on. I'll, I'll do that quick. Look at that. Just give him Risky a good show. Hello, Risky. There we go, right, okay. Ow. No fair. Oh, really? Was that it? That was literally all I had to do. If I hit him like one more time during that last cycle, I would have saved like a good bit of time. So that is not it. We we still have we still have a lot more stuff to do. Ah, oh yes. Yeah, now here comes the dark magic part of it. So, oh, dark magic or her life? You see, hmm. We should have just let this guy kill her because otherwise, if because other then the next game wouldn't even happen in terms of story. But it's a good job. It's a, it's a good game. It's a good game. Now I don't think it really matters here, so I'm just gonna say yes. Yeah, it, it, the decision really it doesn't matter. So see, she runs away because she's scared, and all the dark magic. But oh my gosh, look! It's not dark. What's happened to it? It's light magic. Dun dun dun. Oh my gosh, it's actually my magic! So if people don't know what the hell's going on, this is my magic that I lost in the last game. You see, Risky took all the magic out of us and it became a dark version of me, and then we destroy it and then it just goes everywhere. So the dark magic that we were collecting was actually the remains of that, and we were collecting it all again. And the Pirate Master thought it was his, but it isn't. It was ours. So now, it's the exact same thing again, however, we do 
a constant 999 damage. So it's it's yeah. So we don't need any super monster milk anymore because we just do loads of, uh, loads of damage anyway. Yeah, it's a bit bit more difficult. The scimitars they kind of mm, go around a bit. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a potion. There you go. See this is. This is the one move in particular that was an absolute nightmare to go against when you were trying to perfect this, because them things are so random in their movement and it's horrible. I don't like this platforming bit because I'm so bad at it. See look, a constant 999, the fives are the plate balls, don't worry, that's... Trying to spam as... No, oh, I just lost it. Yeah, see that's it. Nope, okay, well, oh well. We'll probably two cycle this, so hopefully that should be all good. But we're still not done after this. There's another stage, and it, it's quite long, which is why it can infuriate people when trying to do this no damage. So, and it can take a very long time. Oh, we can't give Risky a little dance anymore. Oh well. Oh, I'm running out of bubbles. I should probably get some more. Oh, I've screwed that up. <laughs> oh well. Unfortunately, they they don't count as projectiles, so. It didn't hit me. Oh well. Ah, uh, die! Come on! No! The amount of spamming I'm doing. Ugh. Oh. Get him! Get him! Get him! Ah! Oh. What are the chances it's going to be like a one-hit thing next time? I guarantee you that it will take less than five hits. So... There we go, lovely. That was nice. Actually gonna have another potion quick. Actually, no, let's have a lobster tail. Let's have a lobster tail. There we go. Oh, apparently you can still hit him. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. But apparently that's a thing. We. Here we go. See, that's how you don't let them hit you. No. You see? You see? I told you. I told you. See, now we have Vinegar and Twitch who help us out. Turns out Risky didn't just run away. We're actually getting the cannon ready. I don't know which one's Vinegar and which one's Twitch. They appear in the next game. But I don't know, I don't know who's who. Right. Still going to need a bubble because... Right, now I just need to keep spamming and pressing B. This is effectively the final part. And it's a bit and I don't know you could do it. You can cheese your way through this bit. It's it's very easy. If once you once you've got him there, I think that's it. There we go. And that that's the final boss. A lot more climactic than the bad endings one, because the bad is is terrible. So that's that. Ooh, my voice. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Yep, you are finished. You cannot destroy me. Famous last words. Yep. Well, he's gone. Well then, that's the last of him. What's the last thing to do? Oh, the weapons. Oh, the curse has been broken. All her st oh, she gets all her stuff back and she actually fights us with it in the next game too, which is quite a quite nice nice thing. And there should actually be some DLC coming soon to Half Genie Hero, which actually allows us to play as Risky. That'll be fun. Mm, yeah, we're we're not pirate material. And then she just she just goes. I wanna know how these lot this lot got up here. I'm pretty sure they didn't fly and break the game like I did. Oh, Risky's gonna be okay. Yep, yep, yeah. Okay, no, I can't be asked to be. I can't be asked to do that. And that is Shantae and the Pirates Curse. Actually, we still got another cutscene here. The storm is gone. These, yeah. One last thing. Oh, oh, we're gonna grant a wish. Because apparently it's the first time we've ever done this. So now, 
we have Scuttletown again, with 100% less ammo, and turrets, and guns, and things. Huh. Yeah, I'm kind of with Ammo Baron on this one. That's a lot of resources just gone. Huh. That is... D right, okay. Um. Well then, they never appear in any other game, so I don't know. Oh, when I mean they, I mean them big tank things. Ammo Baron does. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Why did our hearts and things appear? There was no point. Oh, yay, so apparently these two are... I think they just thank us here. Uh, I can't remember. Apparently we're all now having a sleepover. Oh, wait, no, those two are trying to find their caravan. And Rotty Tops apparently is having a sleepover. Here, just uninvited, just because. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're just going to skip this bit. Um. Anyway, that's that. Weird. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, he decides to fix up the Mayor's Retreat, as Sky said. Sky then goes to get. Oh, why did they have a tink? Yeah, it's... Apparently he had to tinker about in there because he wanted to try and reverse the flow of something or other to get a magic back, yeah. And this is a little thing we have, we find Risky on the island with some tinker bats. Oh yeah, they just talk about some stuff. They go, with a very slow animation, and you can tell something else is gonna happen, I knew it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Just like your mother, only shorter and more annoying. Well then. How does Risky know her mother anyway? That's never explained, really. And yeah, that is Shantae and the Pirates, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. I certainly enjoyed actually doing this, because this is one of my favourite games. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip most most of this, because it is just it's just credits. And yeah, oh, Mayor is apparently over in that area. Don't know why. Ammo just got sunk in the Santan. Santan! Suntown Island, I, I forget. But yes, this is not going to be the end of videos on this. I did say a few episodes ago that I was thinking of doing some speed running of this game. Oh, that's a nice image. Cut off the, the right hand side, that'll be a nice image. I am going to be doing some speed runs of this game. I'm going to be recording myself going for the speed run achievements. So the first one being beat the game in two hours at any percent. There's the just for some reason it's in the ocean now. Oh, so this was my total playtime for the actual series. So it was 7 hours, 49 minutes and 5 seconds. All the dark magic. And actually, to be fair, I got a fair amount of the heart squids. I probably could have got all the heart squids as well, but I just couldn't be bothered in the end. So yeah. So yeah, so the first one was to beat, beat the game any percent uh, within 2 hours. So I'm going to be trying that one. And there's also the 100%. So... As far as I know, I think that's just the true final boss. So I think that's only getting the dark magic. However, that might also it probably will also be all of the upgrades and heart squids as well. So I'm going to have to quickly check on that to actually make sure that is the case just in case I end up screwing up for, for whatever reason. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode and the series as a whole. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment if you would like to see Half Genie Hero on this channel as well. Like I said, I'm going to be doing some speedruns of this game, so this isn't the end of this. And yeah, so now I've finished this, I can probably delete this, but I won't do that just yet. Let's... You get some wallpapers for unlocking stuff. I like this one. I guess my thumbnail art as well. Anyway, with all that taken care with, hope you guys have all enjoyed this series and have a great day.